So Pokemon released a new box, and a new collection box that's actually pretty solid. Now, I'm not saying it's pretty solid because of pack selection, because quite frankly, anytime you get a collection box, the packs don't really matter since they only give you four, in my opinion. I just think it's always fun to open up four packs. My problem with collection boxes lately have always been that Pokemon is releasing a lot of collection boxes, especially at the back half of 2024, where instead of giving us an actual promo, an SVP card, they're giving us a card, a double rare from the set that is easy to pull already. Like uh, they got like that exclusive one. I think it's called like the Terror Brawler set uh, box at GameStop. They have announced so many other ones and it's like, it's nice to see a collection box with an actual promo. So today we're gonna be opening up the new Houndstone EX box. And we're gonna determine uh, based on what's inside this box, if it's worth it. Now these boxes do retail for $21.99, but clearly as with any other collection box, you can find this box massively under retail. I will most likely post affiliate links down in the uh, pinned comment below. And you can go down there and uh, get yourself a box. Now, those affiliate links do not charge you any extra. They just help out the channel when you use them. Now, you do get two beautiful promos. You get an Obsidian Flame Graveyard, which is interesting. Of going all the way back to Obsidian Flames for this card. But it's a beautiful Cosmo Foil version of a very beautiful Graveyard card. And then you get a Houndstone EX, which I'm assuming is just an alternate version of Houndstone EX from Obsidian Flames. So those are pretty nice. You get a code card, which I'll give to one lucky viewer here. And then you get your Jumbo card. I don't really collect Jumbo cards, but if you're a Jumbo card collector, those are always nice to have. And then you get four booster packs. Now the booster pack selection in this set is not too bad. You get a Stellar Crown, a Twilight Masquerade, another Stellar Crown, another Twilight Masquerade. Now, if you're somebody who loves collection boxes and just enjoys opening these, this might be a little disappointing if you're used to the 2-1-1 ratio. 2-1-2, two two, it always feels a little bit more bland because I love the variety of packs that collection boxes offer. I love the 2-1-1 one, one, or the 1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. Two and two or three and one or four, uh, all four being the same set are always kind of boring unless it's like a specialty subset. So with that being said, we're going to open up these four packs and see if we can get anything good. Now, I don't need anything from Stellar Crown, so any big hit from Stellar is going to be nice, but I am still chasing a lot from Twilight Masquerade. So let's see if we can get anything good. Looks like we're at least going to get a double rare Lucario EX. Okay. Hey, we got one hit out of four packs. That is what you kind of end up asking for whenever you open up one of these uh, boxes. Out of four packs, you always want at least one hit. But with modern Pokemon, you want that one hit to be a little bit better than a standard EX, right? So let's see if we can get at least an illustration rare or maybe even an SIR. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like Stellar Crown is going to do that for us. But that's fine, because if we pull an SIR today, Twilight Masquerade is what we want it from. Carmine SIR, Kieran SIR, Greninja SIR. Those would all be amazing cards to pull. If we don't pull an SIR, there are tons of amazing illustration rares in this set to pull as well. That includes the amazing Eevee. So we're on our last pack. So far, we've only pulled Lucario EX. We're gonna hope that we can end with something out of this last pack. So we got Sea King, Sunkern, Abra, Snowrunt, Far Giraffe, Jamming Tower, Glaceon. We got Mighty Inna. Unfortunately, no illustration rares at all. And we're gonna end with just a hollow. And that is kind of the way the cookie crumbles on some of these collection boxes. Sometimes you can open up a collection box and they end up very fire. And sometimes you can open up a collection box and you pull nothing or you pull one regular ultra rare card, regular double rare card that doesn't really have much value to it. And that's fine as long as you're having fun opening, right? And you do get two beautiful promos either way. That's why I said I love collection boxes that give you an exclusive promo. Because even if you pull nothing, you at least feel like you got something, right? 
when you get a collection box that's just giving you another double rare, let's say they did a Lucario EX collection box and just gave you this, you would feel kind of cheated if you pulled nothing out of your packs. At least with these, you feel like you pulled something. But with this collection box, I think the pack selection is pretty solid, but I do think there's nothing different from your other standard collection boxes. I think this is just another one of those collection boxes that's just a standard for Pokemon. They're releasing it along with the uh, with a newer set release with uh, Stellar Crown. And it's just something for people to pick up that just want to open up a few packs for people to pick up as a birthday gift for a kid. So this is just one of those products that's just a solid 7 out of 10. It's nothing that is too great. But it's nothing that is like outright offensive. It's just right there in the middle of the road and just a solid product overall. Anyways, I will leave a link down in the pinned comment below if you're interested in picking up some of these collection boxes for yourself. But let me know down in the comment section below. What do you think of these collection boxes? Are they good? Are they bad? Let me know. And one lucky uh, commenter will win all three of these cards. I don't need Lucario because I finished Stellar Crown. And I open up a couple more of these boxes off camera for myself and I already have these cards in my personal collection. So I have no need for any of these. So I will pick one lucky commenter and uh, reply to your comment and you can win. All you got to do is make sure your YouTube notifications are on so that way you get a notice when I reply to your comment. Uh, with that being said, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Remember, once again, let me know down in the comments. What do you think about this box? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it middle of the road? With, and as always... And with that being said, guys, as always, remember to keep it classy and stay awesome.